Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies 2. Today we are heading back into the Dark Ages and we'll see how many levels we get done. I'm thinking we will get all the remaining 10 levels done, but I'll have to see how much time we have and how much time it takes. I might only be able to get the five levels done, but then I'll get the other five levels done in the next episode and we'll take on Zomboss and everything. We'll see how it goes. For right now, I might be able to do it, so. <laughs> Let's start with level 11 and just get on into it. We do have at least one plan to unlock in today's episode, the Magnet Shroom. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Looks like we got a lot of zombies, including one new one. You might be able to see that wizard there. I don't know what he does. But hey, let's get this sunflower. Actually, not the sunflower. <laughs> what do I think I'm doing? It's Dark Ages. We need uh, all of our mushroom friends. And of course, a Grey Buster. Maybe a potato mine. Actually, I think it'd be better if we did Iceberg. I mean, both would be great. Hmm. You know what else go for? I know it's been a pretty simple setup, but it works, you know? It can be very tough. So I think this is sort of our best bet for now. And we'll speed things up to get it started, but we just gotta be careful with everything. There we go. Yeah, Dark Ages has definitely been one of the more challenging worlds. We haven't lost yet, but we've definitely gotten close. I'm definitely happy that there is less levels in this one just because of how tough it is. It definitely makes for a challenge. There we go. I already have enough for some fume shrooms, so might as well get started with that, I suppose. And maybe even doing something like that would be worth our while. I'm thinking we want to slow some things down so I can get everything placed down properly. There we go. Getting some extra sun out of it too doesn't hurt. <laughs> That's for sure. Grabbing all that. Because that was right there, that was 25 sun. That's pretty good. I'm gonna freeze this guy so he doesn't cause any more trouble. So I'm placing down more stuff. Definitely get this guy set up. Okay, awesome. So yeah, this is actually turning out pretty well. Let's keep gray busting. Pick up all that sun. I love the little trail of sun they leave. That's wonderful. Okie doke. Now for you, you're gonna you're gonna get a potato mine. <laughs> I can't deal with the uh, bucket heads quite yet. We need more firepower. I don't know how this will work, because I don't know if it's about the accumulative amount of damage they take, or if it's more like the more points of damage they take, like recurring, they'll drop more sun. We'll find out when this guy explodes. And will he just drop a ton of sun? He does, okay, that actually works that way, that's awesome. Let's freeze this guy real fast, because he might end up becoming a problem if I don't. Sort of got distracted with everything else there, which is a problem now. You just turned my mushroom into a sheep! Why'd you do that? That's not good, can I dig you up? I can't do nothing with you. What in the world? No, I'm trying to turn you, what, is, what do you do about this? Hold on, get out of here, mister. Leave my mushrooms alone. <laughs> Why can he do that? Oh no. What am I gonna do? You can't move him. Oh, and he's still doing it too. He does not stop. I didn't mean to put that there. Come on, freeze this guy. Okay, everybody turns back to normal though. That's good. My gosh, this is ridiculous. Come on, I need more. There we go, not bad, not bad. Uh, Let me do that then. And I guess this, it's not turning out perfectly so far, I gotta be honest. Let's get this guy. I need to get him right now, come on. Don't you turn anything I have into a sheep. Thank you. That was great. <laughs> this is so ridiculous, I love it. Okay, um, oh no, here he goes again. Turning everything in the sheeps as he pleases, as if it's his property. Let's do this over here. I might have to do the same deal up this way to get rid of that wizard, because he is just ridiculous. I, I thought that he had eaten the sunbeam down there, sunbeam, but he had not. So that was my mistake. Try not to make it again. So we have two plant food here. Oh no, here comes another one. Let's do this as well, just for some extra sun. I need as much sun as I can get right now. And also as many puff shrooms as I can. That way it just lowers the chance of them actually doing that to something valuable. Okay, there goes that guy. So th those are back to normal. I'm freezing you so that I can do this. Man, oh man, it just never ends. That's a lot of gravestones out of nowhere. Gotta be honest, I was hoping something like that wouldn't happen. Let's push this back. I got a plant food, very good. 
mean, I don't really need the sunbeams anymore. I'm just sort of doing them out of habit. Because we got plenty of sun, that's not the problem anymore. Just placing as many plants as I possibly can. Got it. I might freeze this guy and we got our, is this the last wave or do we have, I think that we haven't reached that last wave just yet. We're getting there, obviously. Ay, 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 this is insane though. Like I thought it was set before just with the, the, without the wizards. Now I got the wizards and it's all kinds of an issue. Okay, I guess I didn't need to put that there. Okay, so we have two plant food that we can use. I may have wanted to, oh gosh. How about we go ahead and do this? Try to freeze them all up a little bit and just attack as many of them as I can. And hope that makes a big difference. I got rid of a couple of them, there we go, all the wizards are gone! Awesome, that worked out perfect. Have I ever done that with this? What will that do? Will that just make one heck of a zombie? Uh, like I guess like just poop out a bunch of sun? I don't know, we'll not, we'll not know for now. <laughs> I'm just gonna dig it up. <laughs> that was a waste, but I thought it was funny. Alrighty then, so there is night 11 completed the first level of today's episode. All in just complete level where the jesters return no projectiles. That's good to know. Got that done. So we're doing pretty well, I suppose. We get ourselves a pinata, which I'll open up, get probably another 100 coins and some other experience. Hopefully we can get one of the mushrooms leveled up this time. Yes, we will. That'll be some experience for the puff shroom and almost enough for the, the magnet shroom, so that's good. So what's going on in day 12? Level objectives, survive and keep the puff shrooms alive. The poor little puff shrooms, won't they disappear after a time now? What am I supposed to do about that? I have no clue. For right now though, definitely need the grave buster. I mean, let me get more puff rooms just in case. And when it comes to my other options, I feel like I just need to slow zombies down. I don't know if that's worth it. I should, I mean, I'll do iceberg lettuce and cherry bomb. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, and I'll just mess with it. Hope for the best. So will these guys eventually disappear or what? Am I supposed to replace them in time? Yeah, that doesn't seem to do anything. We'll have to wait and see. Super weird. Okay, we got a zombie coming up that way. I'm gonna just freeze him for now. I don't know if that'll be the best idea, but I'll put more puff shrooms out so that also deals with it. At least we're getting some plant food out of it too. Get a puff shroom over this way. Soon enough we'll be able to use some fume shrooms and that'll be good. But I might wanna really separate those guys out because we wanna have probably two rows of sun shrooms here. I'll do that for now. And actually, maybe do that. I'm tempted to try this now and just sort of see where it goes. That'll certainly be interesting. That's not what I meant to do. Whoops. I'm so slippery with the touch controls, I'll tell you that much. So I'm gonna wait for him to eat that before I do this. Let's see how that goes. Whoa, he just explodes into sun. Huh, wasn't expecting that. That was super interesting. I thought he would just give us more sun. It looks like he just instantly gives us sun. I thought that'd be great for a plant power from the Zen Garden, but to actively give a, a zombie that, unless it was like a gargantua or something, I don't see that being worth it. Like, yeah, maybe like a higher tier zombie like that would work. You know what? I don't know if this is totally worth it, but we do get rid of some of the gravestones that way, so that's pretty good. Okay, so what can I do here? I can maybe do that. I don't know if that was entirely worth it. See, so yeah, these guys are starting to disappear. Am I supposed to replace them? That doesn't seem to be doing anything. I'm getting very nervous. What do I do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Is there, what do you, what? What? Puff Shroom did not survive. How do I make it survive? What are you talking about? I might have to read up on the almanac. So the Puff Shrooms have a level up. Let me do that now. I'm gonna upgrade them, 50 coins, not that expensive as you can see, but hey, we get some good bonus stats there. But what I'm more curious about right now, puff shrooms are short range shooters that last for a limited time. Special lives for a limited time, that's very special. Uh, puff shrooms, puff shroom is hip to all the latest social networks. He loves to surf spore book, fungalston, and shroomstagram, but sometimes he misses the simple camaraderie of a good old fashioned lawn area network play. Okay. 
None of that tells me how to keep them alive. I'm gonna guess that maybe if we use like the plant food, maybe that'll do something. Maybe that'll refresh the the timer or something. Like that might work because I noticed that like when we use plant food on the puff shroom, they all attack at once because it doesn't expect me to dig it up, right? Hey, I mean, what if I do that? I can't even dig it up. So I have to be able to maybe do that. Maybe it'll refresh the lives of it. Like what else would I be able to do, you know? I can't remove it and I can't just put one over. So there's gotta be something else I can do. Okay, for right now though, the one thing I can do is build up puff shrooms. Or not puff shrooms, well yeah, puff shrooms and sun shrooms. There we go. I definitely need to build up more, so try to get out as much as I can. There we go. It's going pretty well. Those puff shrooms are getting to work, because we get a lot here, I'm sure you've noticed. Like, there, you know, they're almost faded out already. Oh, oh, oh! Okay, so that does restore them. Huh. So that one time I did it by accident was actually a very good accident to have. Good to know that I got really lucky. I'll do a bit of that for now. Do a bit of this. So I just have to save my plant food exclusively for that. Isn't that tough? I mean, we're getting a lot of plant food, I'm sure you've noticed. Let's do that for now. These guys are looking a little pale. Yeah, they're starting to get there. Um, Let me do something like this. Uh, maybe that was a waste, there was already a puff room there. Look at it go, but if we have a lot of, I understand the strength of this now, though. Um, Is that if we just have a ton of them out, like a near irresponsible amount, we can keep them going for a while. Like this. Ah! <laughs> That's wonderfully insane. Got it. I wanna have some fume shrooms out, just as like a long range defense. But it's great to know I might not exactly need them. Okay, let's go ahead and activate this. That is excellent. Wow, he destroyed us. No, I'm a dingus. I timed that awfully. I should have known that. I should have. Okay, so we got the gestures moving in this time and I'm immediately gonna cherry bomb them. That way I don't have to worry about them potentially sending anything back towards the plants. Okay, so I'm gonna do this so that everybody gets refreshed. That seems to work amazingly. Because they still have their range limit even with that going on. But I can just put out so many puff room and just get it crazier and crazier and crazier because I don't need too much sun for that. That's the excellent part. Okay, you know what? Ready, set, go. Just destroy all this stuff. How excellent is that? Now this is where it becomes a bit more of an issue if they turn everything into, uh, you know, sheep. I don't want them to turn any of the uh, puff shrooms into sheep. I don't know if that would actually ruin it or not, but I don't want to risk it. Okay, that guy should be turning back any moment now, right? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I guess there he goes. Weird. So I need to save my cherry bombs for these gestures as much as I possibly can, I suppose. Let's do something like that, and then before, yeah, I gotta do it before they actually, no, 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 no. Stop, stop, why? I, I tried to time it before that, and it just didn't work. Okay, you know what, do it again, do it again, before they start spinning. No, you just can't. You just can't do it before they start spinning. It doesn't work that way, for some re weird reason. Um, I'm gonna do that, but then I need to do something about this guy. Come on, do this, do that. It's not what I wanted to do, but it's what I had to do. My gosh, that was ridiculous. Um, so those guys are the big problem, for sure. Okay, that seems to be the best I can do at the moment. Absolutely ridiculously tough level so far. This is why I think I was only gonna do five levels today instead of 10, because it's just insanely tough as it is. Anyways, this is the last grouping of them, I think. So let's do this and see how that goes. All right, I think that's everybody. Thank goodness, that was tough. That was really tough, and what in the world? We get Excalibur? Still in the stone and everything. Oh, is this the endless mode? I think it might be. Huh, interesting. Okay. Let's skip all this stuff. I know, I know. Why would anyone go and stick a nice sword into this dirty old rock? I understand it to be a test, user Dave. Only someone with great physical strength and strength of character may remove it. I bet someone with a jackhammer could remove it. How crazy someone. 
An inelegant but no doubt effective solution to the test, user Dave. <laughs> okay, so Arthur's challenge, survive level after level of escalating zombie attacks, test your skill in this endless zone. We'll do that, of course, after we complete the main area. But for right now, let's keep it moving. We got a couple more levels to go before we get to the magnet room, but it'll be well worth it. So just gotta keep moving, like I said. <laughs> But man, the first two levels of today's episode have been absolutely treacherous. I'm really worried about the next couple. Okay, so, looks like we're starting with some puff shrooms. I'm gonna start them a little bit farther ahead, or I'm gonna wait. Let's wait until the p zombies actually show up. So this guy should be fine if I do this. Maybe I'll speed things up a little bit to get this started. Oh, hey, this is new. I know this guy from PVC Heroes. Of course, it's a peanut. What, what do we do with this guy? I mean, for right now, I can do this. I need some, uh, what's it called? I, okay, here we go. All right, well, this will be interesting for sure. All right, well, we turn it into a peanut right away. That's not nice. Hmm. Don't know if that's exactly the best idea, but sort of all I got. Uh, okay, you know what? I might have to get rid of him with some plant food because I don't want him doing that anymore. There we go. So these guys just shoot out peas. Like, it's, I guess it's sort of like a pea shooter. Weird. I mean, I get it, it's like a pea nut. Huh, oh no. That's a problem. Uh, and that's a problem. Let's do this. That, okay, well that one's just too late. <laughs> I don't know if it's worth my while. So we gotta get rid of those things pronto. Not turning out so well. Uh, I'm gonna do this. And hopefully no zombies pop out of that gravestone, but they probably will, so I should probably replace this with something a little bit more effective. Very interesting so far. This guy's a little helmet now, that's so cute. The little peapod we did the, uh, the plant food with. Okay, um, Got a puff shroom, gotta put it somewhere. Why not put it there? This is very weird so far. We're not really getting too many plants. I gotta get rid of this gravestone. Push this guy way back. Get him out of here. That was pretty good. This guy's gonna be turning stuff in the sheep. I don't appreciate it. I don't see how anyone could. Okay, what do we wanna do here? I might have to do this. Go for it. Oh, I'm still in big trouble. Still in big trouble. Oh no. Will we be able to get him? He's actually pretty tough. I guess he has like the strength of a walnut. Oh, that's cool. I mean, that took a, uh, he didn't even eat through him. End up having to uh, walk past him after he got turned into a sheep. Let's hope that doesn't happen again. Because if it does, I'm gonna be in big trouble. Come on. Hold tight there, little peanut. This guy is still fighting too. That's great. So that's sort of like the helmet's like, sort of like the Iron Maiden. That is super interesting. I want to unlock that 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 plant at some point. Oh, look at the little peanut down here. He's all eaten. Poor guy. Come on now. We got to be able to do more about this, right? I have no clue. There we go. We actually got rid of that guy, which is great. Now the peanuts are starting to flow in a little bit more. There we go. I don't know if this is going to be a good idea or not. Oh gosh. This guy's not so fun to deal with. Oh, he's tearing everything up, and so is the guy up there. This is super tough. Come on, keep it going. This isn't even the final huge wave. We got a lot more to go. We wanna survive that. This is super tough, once again. Like, usually conveyor belt levels are easier. That's why I'm getting worried about, you know, here on out, what these extra levels will have in store for us. I'm not really sure. I mean, I say extra levels. I mean, just every level going forward in the story mode might be really tough. Let's get rid of this gravestone, even if it is already half broken. It's important to get rid of what we can. Let's replace this with something a bit more effective. Okay, so we have an onslaught of zombies coming in. So trying to decide where I need to use what. I'm thinking one here. And maybe another here. Once they get closer, I can push them back. There we go, not too bad. 
There goes, you know, that gets rid of one wizard zombie. A little less to worry about, I suppose. But it's still not turning out so well, is the problem. Let's do this, we gotta get rid of those wizard zombies so th this can actually do something. Oh no. Um, let's do this, yep, quickly, quickly. Oh boy. Okay, we're almost getting rid of him. Let's do this up here, because I didn't even notice. Speed things up, because there's not really too much more I can do beyond this. No, we turned into a sheep at the perfect time. What a jerk. So we just gotta hope that guy takes the money. He should be able to. If not, I can just replace him. Can I replace these guys? Oh, I can, cool. Anyways, as you can see, we got it done. Only lost a lawnmower. One singular lawnmower, that's fine. So there we go. We got 59,000 coins. It went up there for a second and then it went back down. I guess it's these coins right here, yeah. Okay, so 59,000 coins. We get some experience for the puff shroom and for the fume shroom, getting closer to a level up. Very cool. So let's see, day 14, produce at least 5,000 sun. That's gonna be a challenge, but I can use twin sunflowers. Ooh, this'll be interesting. So I don't know if I'm gonna have as much of a reliance on, hmm, on the mushrooms as I normally do. Oh, I can't use twin sunflowers. That's just needlessly difficult. I'm gonna tell you that right now. We can't even use sunshroom? Why not? We're gonna, we gotta, we gotta produce 5,000 sun without any kind of sun producing plant? Oh, why is that? <laughs> I don't like that one bit. Maybe I will try lightning reed. I mean, that's the nice thing about mushrooms is they're usually very cheap and affordable. I guess we'll do something like this and we'll see how it goes. I am not looking forward to this one. 5,000 sun. I, okay, for a second I thought I forgot the Great Buster, but the game chose the Great Buster for me. Can't choose something I never had the chance to, I mean, I can't forget something I never had the chance to. Oh, at least more gravestones are popping up. That's at least lucky. Let me get that there. And I'm gonna keep as many of these guys set up as I possibly can. The second a Great Buster's available, oh yeah, let's also do this. The second a Great Buster is available, I need to take the opportunity. Same thing with the, uh, the Sunbeam. Let's get rid of this guy right now. Got it. Ready, set, boom. Not bad. I'm gonna have you eat that. Then we can do something like that. Huh. Certainly an interesting situation. I mean, we're already at 435. Yeah, we don't even have to pick up the song, we just have to produce it, which is always the weird thing about this. Oh, I, I definitely needed the sun being up there instead, whoopsies. But I could just do this, and then when I have the chance, I can give him the sun bean, and that'd be good. I'm gonna freeze him for now. Get a puff shroom there. Get some fume shroom set up. Got it, okay. Uh, and that. I'm slowly getting these fume shrooms figured out. I mean, they're the same price as lightning reads, which is a good thing. Because I can do that. Come on, eat that. And also, I need to keep going with this. Don't slow down. There we go, got some sun out of that. That's always good. So we're at 1,420, so we're not even halfway there. We got plenty more to do. Definitely have that guy eat it. So I wanna beat him up for sure. There we go. Did he turn the gravestone? No, he turned the sunbeam into it. I was gonna say, I thought he turned the gravestone into a sheep. I was like, actually, that's quite helpful. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no, not good. Um, I'm gonna freeze him. Get another sunbeam out somewhere. Grave bust some stuff. There we go. Very stressful, very, very stressful. Still not even halfway there, even though we are halfway done with the zombies coming in. That's where we need sunbeams a lot more than we're getting them right now. I mean, we do have some set up, just zombies have not been eating them. Let's get that set up there. Grave bust this one. I mean, I could have set up more, I suppose, more um, fume shrooms than what I did here, but this should work still. Here, freeze this guy. Ray bust that. I need more sunbeams as soon as I can get them. 
Get it down there. That's good. All right, we're more than halfway through now. You know what, I wanna get a storm cloud set up because this is getting nasty. Oh boy. Come on. And the landing reefs seem to get through the... Come on, why is this not working? Because I'm accidentally collecting sun when I'm trying to place down other stuff. I'm gonna put this up here, I suppose. I just need to put it somewhere, go. Because I'm accidentally collecting sun when I'm trying to place things down, and it just doesn't work the way I'm trying to make it work. There we go. Oh gosh, here comes the Gargantuar. I definitely wanna give that guy a sunbeam. I mean, I don't know if he'll actually eat it is the problem. Oh boy. This could be a huge problem, though. But hey, in the meantime, do you want a sunbeam? Now you're gonna get taken out before. I can do anything about it. So the problem now, will you eat that? You won't eat that. That's a problem. Is this the last zombie? I don't think it is. I think there's more after this. Yeah, there's more after this, okay. Let's get that there. Let's do this and knock this guy back as far as I can. Okay, that's at least something. Let's freeze you. We're at 4,000, okay, here we go, 5,000, we got it, awesome. Let's just go ahead and hit these guys with everything we got then. Awesome. So that's why the 5,000 sun, he didn't wanna get the plant food and constantly do that over and over again. It shows you that this is somehow a doable strategy. Super crazy. Alrighty, so there's uh, night 14 done. And we collected seed packs, with, so we get a reward for that, five gems. And we got one more level to go before we get ourselves a super duper awesome uh, magnet trim. So I'm looking forward to that. Let's get five more gems as well. And let's keep moving. Day 15. This will be our last one of the day. I'm sorry, just, it's taking so much time and energy. But um, yeah, plan your defense and defeat the zombies. I would love to do that. Looks like we got some jester zombies and the wizard zombies and everything. So, okay, so this one we have a limited amount of sun. As per usual, right? So I can't do puff shroom. So I can, all I can really do there is fume shroom, mine and walnut, lightning reed maybe. Something like that might not be so bad of an idea. Hmm. Trying to think this through. I really don't know what I want these last two slots to be. I mean, I can make them a bit more throwaway, I suppose. I want to be the best idea, but if it's what I got, it's what I got. Uh, Yeah, I'll just do this. Actually, no, if I'm gonna have anything, let's have a last resort, like Cherry Bomb. I don't know if that'll be any good. <laughs> I mean, could I, I don't think I could have done the, yeah, I can't do the Sunbeam. So this really is some of the best I could do. I never got the Grey Buster. I don't think I can get the Grey Buster. So these are 125, which means that they are 250, 375, 500, 625 for five of them. So if I had what, 2200 something to start with? I think it was. I mean, I can at least do two of these. Two lanes, I mean. Of course, I can do at least two few insurance. Uh, let's do that. And then, you know, let's do three more of them. And then once I can, I can't do all of them, but I can do a good chunk. That's at least something. Let's try it. Okay, whoa, game's sort of slowing down there a little bit. That was weird. Oh no, did I make a good choice? I mean, I think I did. The jesters aren't too big of a deal because there's no projectiles for them to spin back. Yeah, that's actually gonna work out. Okay, cool. I'll take it. So let's see how this goes. I just sort of have to sit and watch the fireworks. I mean, I can be ready to plant some plant food, but beyond that, we're good. Not bad, some zombies are getting zapped. Exactly what I was hoping for. So we're beating these guys up pretty well, but at the same time, they're holding on tight. Don't know exactly what to do about that. For right now, it just looks like they should be able to handle it. But man, we are barely through. Okay, now the zombie head on the top is moving a bit more now. Come on, you guys can do it. 
please don't get taken out. I might have to do a stunion. I didn't want to have to do this, but I gotta. I had to do that. So I do have some plant food here that I'm very tempted to start using. I'm just gonna use one for now. Ooh, the tough thing is, is the how else would I do this? Obviously, oh, okay, that would actually help, all the plant food in that. So this actually could be workable now. Let's get back to doing this. I was hoping that the uh, storm cloud would focus on that guy up there, but I guess it didn't, but that's fine. So now I can use this a lot more freely without as much worry, because I know I'm getting some plant food back. Come on, that's not too bad. Just need a little bit more effort into that one gravestone, and we're good. Now we're back up to three plant food. That's really nice to see. I was gonna say, how else would you do this? Um, this guy might be a problem. Some of them just sort of sneak by sometimes. That still might not be enough, I'll have to wait and see. Please let it be enough, so I don't have to use the plant food on that. Okay, we're fine. Oh boy, I need to do another one. I need to. Like, maybe it would've just been better if we just did a bunch of fume shrooms. I don't know, because like the plant food for the spike, for the, for the lightning reed is so good. We're out of a walnut over there. That's a huge problem. We're almost out of plant food too. What am I doing about this guy? Is there anything I can really do? I might actually give up one of these and, okay, will I have to give up that dude? Because I'm trying to make sure I have enough plants, as much plants as I possibly can. I don't have any plant food left, so. Does it cost a plant food to give up the lawnmower? I don't think it does, I thought I had one more. Oh no, <laughs> should, I use, should I use a power up? I'll have to wait and see. Okay, everybody turn back to normal, at least for now. I thought I was gonna get more plant food, admittedly. Okay, this is a problem. I'm gonna go for this. It's like the same thing as a plant food. That did actually did next to nothing. Next to nothing. I mean, honestly, if they get rid of the zombie on the bottom, I'll be fine. Because I have lawnmowers for every other lane. Come on, you guys can do it. So let me just do this to save some time then. Can I? I can't. Does it cost sun? It must cost something to give up the lawnmower then. Because I'm clicking it and like nothing happens anymore. So I guess it does cost like plant food or something to give up a lawnmower, which makes no sense. You're giving up a lawnmower, that's the exchange. Why would you need more than that? I don't know, but it's fine. The lawnmowers will save us as they normally do. Thank you, lawnmower. Okay, so I get a hundred, or a hundred, I, I read the hundred on there. I get a magnet troop. Awesome, magnet shroom removes helmets and other objects from zombies. Definitely could have used that during that entire level, but I'm glad that we got something figured out. And we'll also get a reward for it. As you can see, we get this guy. So that's gonna be 100 coins. We get two magnet shroom experience, which we can use to level up the magnet shroom, and two more experience for the sunbeam, getting him pretty close to a level up. And we would be good to move forward if that's something I wanted to do, but I'm gonna save that and the zomb boss battle for next episode. Okay, so before we finish up though, I do wanna go ahead and get whatever plants we can leveled up. So I think that's just gonna be the magnet shroom, and that's perfect, so a thousand coins. And that already ups his toughness and his special, which is of course to destroy objects, so that's pretty cool. And that's about all I can do there. But yeah, it's been a lot of fun making our way through the Dark Ages, even though it has been spectacularly difficult. Hopefully we can finish it with a bang in the next episode as we get the final five levels done and defeat Zomboss in the Dark Ages. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies 2. If you watched this point of video, make sure you comment Magnet Zebra so you have watched at the end of the URA Zebra Tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra out of the way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.